Welcome back to Free Space 2, my friends. Um, so, in the last entry, uh, it took me a while, but I finally took care of the Ravana. Um, that one's kind of optional. You don't have to watch that one if you don't want to. But if you did, I hope you enjoyed it. But now we're just going to continue with the campaign. Hopefully, there won't be. Oh, pardon me. Any kind of crazy difficulty spike. Like there was with that, because, oh my god, I think it took me eight attempts. Lieutenant Commander Cordova here. Okay. Welcome to the 242nd Suicide Kings, pilot. Thank you. I've heard on unofficial channels that the rebels have launched a surprise attack in the Epsilon Pegasi system. Oh no. Details at this point are sketchy below five level clearance, and command is in no hurry to fill us in. Okay. Petrarch says he'll brief the Aquitaine when we reach Capella. The GTA formed the Suicide Kings in the Great War, when the old Valkyrie fighter went into service after the Shivan attack on Ross 128. I remember that the one. The 242nd was stationed on the Galatea back then, and our first mission was the capture of Lieutenant Alexander McCarthy. We all studied the McCarthy trials in school, pilot. We're a part of history here, though the Galatea is long gone, and the Valkyrie has since been retired. Ooh. The Perseus is the next generation interceptor, hmm. the fastest fighter in the GTBA. Our primary combat role is charging bombers and chasing down warheads. Because we love doing that. We're also assigned to surgical strikes against bigger warships. We're not called the Suicide Kings for nothing, pilot. We earn that name on every mission. For that reason, I suggest you review the Perseus training modules as soon as possible. Yep, yep, there yep. There you'll learn how to target bombs and turrets, and everything else you need to serve in an intercept squadron. Mm-hmm. You are now authorized to use the GTM 43A Stiletto II missile, designed to incapacitate subsystems. The 43A improves on the original Stiletto design by modifying its guidance systems and disruptor charge. Yep. Welcome to Training Simulator Module TSM-122X. Advanced qualification for the no. Perseus Intercept Fighter. No. Yeah, I'm not going to make you go through all that. I've been through it before a long time ago. I just need to f remember which key is the target bomb key, which I'm going to look at in a sec. <clears throat> oh, more of this. Six hours ago, the NTF launched a full-scale offensive an Epsilon Pegasi. Okay. Taking the GTVA 6th Fleet by surprise. Oh, go. Commanding his forces from the NTD Repulse, Rear Admiral Koth leads the Rebel advance. With 75% of our forces in this system decimated. Holy shit. The regional death toll since the incursion now exceeds 80,000. My God. Unless we act quickly, a decisive Rebel victory is imminent. What about that Sheevan stuff that was just happening? The GTD Aquitaine will lead the Allied Counter-Strike against Koth and his warships. We will resupply in Capella before shipping out to the front. Okay. We have also learned our campaign in Sirius has failed. Uh-oh. Two-pronged defensive launched from Alpha Centauri and Deneb encountered fierce resistance. Unless we can devise a military solution for dealing with the rebels, GTVA will be forced to recognize the NTF's authority in Sirius, Regulus, and Polaris. Uh, that can't be good. Allied engineers, in the meantime, are developing and adapting technologies that will enable us to fight more effectively in the nebula. Dr. Hargrove and her research team oh. continue to study the subspace portal. Their findings have been classified level 5. 5? What does that mean? The situation in Epsilon Pegasi has been normalized the yep. GTVA will suspend its operations in the nebula. Okay, hang on. I just need to see which... Bomb, bomb, bomb. Target next bomb. Target next bomb. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Uh, I know it's target next... Live tur... Oh, there we go. Oh, B! That makes, that, makes, that makes so much. Allied engineers, in the meantime, are developing. Uh -huh. That makes so much sense. 
Okay. This is Lieutenant Commander Cordova, uh, leader of the 242nd Suicide Kings. You're intense. Welcome to Epsilon Pegasi, pilots. Thank you. Nf Station, the Alliance's base of operations in this system, is now under attack. Oh no! Though we have destroyed the NTC outrage, the Cato continues to bombard the installation with heavy beam fire. Oh, that's not good. Evacuation of civilian personnel on board Enab Station is uh, now in progress. Great. As you know, civilians are protected under the Beta Aquilae Convention, but the NTF has rejected that treaty and its provisions. Uh -huh. Fortunately, most of the civilian convoy has. Yep. Your mission is to defend Enab Station. As leader of Alpha Wing, you will command your squad mates to destroy the fighters and warships besieging our installation. If the rebels sortie their Zeus bombers, intercept the warheads before they impact the base. That mean that means that means there's actually gonna be bombs that we're gonna have to shoot. I kinda forgot about this. Uh okay. Allied forces are engaging the rebels throughout the system. As resources become available, they will be deployed to assist you. Until we get these reinforcements, however, holding down the fort is all up to you. Oh, thanks. That's great. This sortie will be the first combat field test of the Perseus Intercept Fighter. What? So let's put on a good show. What? Yeah. I do like this ship. My favorite ship in the game is the Herc. Herc 2, I believe. Yeah, the Herc 2. But, okay, what do we got? Okay, I, I do like having tempests. Mm. All right, I'll keep them for now. What do we got here? Mm. Okay, sure. Oops. Hang on. Alpha wing. NTF fighters, you are firing upon a civilian vessel. Break off your attack. Roger that. Alpha, we need some fighter cover on the Calypso. Hold back the rebels so the civilians can escape. Uh, okay. Beta wing, protect that target. Roger. Yeah, I know. Cheesy, crazy. Damn. Whoop. I'm working on it. Ooh, okay. Okay, well. Oh, great. Intercept the bombs before they hit the installation. We Working on it. Two. Alpha wing. Destroy target. Oh. Come on, come on, come on! Ah! Ah! The death! Fuck! Oh! Woohoo! 
Bye, Kato. Damn it. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Come on. Come on. Ugh, fudge. Yeah. Uh, oh God. Damn it. Ah. Great. Yeah, was I supposed to fail that one? Because that was... When you were selected for the 242nd Suicide Kings, you were singled out as a promising candidate uh, for position. Okay, yeah, 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 I don't... recommended you had faith in your potential to... Yeah, okay. Fine. This is Lieutenant Commander Cordova. Lead Roger that, sir. Engaging your target. Want to take out beam turrets? Fine, I can take out beam turrets. MTF fighters, you are firing upon a civilian vessel. Break off your attack. Alpha, we need some fighter cover on the Calypso. Hold back the rebels so the civilians can escape.
target. I need to rearm. No! Damn it. This is the GTFR Calypso. We have cleared NF station. Now engaging subspace drive. This is NF station. We have sustained moderate damage. All breach levels have been sealed off. Engineering reports the situation is under control. Roger that, sir. Engaging your target.
Ah, oh, this is very hard to juggle. Oh god, oh god, right there, right there! How am I supposed to da 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 Ah! Damn it! Bitch. Hull integrity failing. Get me out of here, command. <sighs> Four. Roger that, sir. Engaging your target. Command, this is NF Station. A new wing of bombers has jumped in. Damn it! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Our status is friendly. Meet the Colossus, the largest spacefaring warship ever constructed. This is the GTVA Colossus. Fighters stand clear of hostile warships. All batteries, fire at will. Okay. Oh. No! We have defeated the Hawkwood. Woo! Oh, hello Colossus. Oh god, you're gorgeous. Return to base pilots. Mission accomplished. Oh. <sighs> oh, that was tough. Colossus, maintain your current position. You will defend in a station until relieved. I want to do a quick flyby of the Colossus. I haven't seen her in a while, and she has never looked this pretty. Oh, look at that thing. Look at her. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going at full speed and look how slow. This just shows you how big. I've got all my power to engines right now. And this just shows you how big this thing is. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I am really happy. Because that was a hard mission. That was a lot to juggle. <sighs> I mean, trying to shoot down bombs in time and, and trying to take out the beam turrets and everything. I got to remember the quick wingman commands. I, I keep forgetting those, and those, those slow me down. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. It's just so massive. Oh yeah, station ain't looking that great. Only eight percent. That was a tough mission, you guys. Look at that thing. It looks like a big gun. There's the trigger. There's the grip right there. Just a big, big gun. Uh, let's get out of here. Your courageous defense. Yeah, that's the difference from the last time. I witnessed to an historic moment. The first combat deployment of the GTVA Colossus. You and your wing also showed us what the Perseus Intercept fighter can do. Yay! Against overwhelming odds, you repelled an attack against a facility of the utmost strategic importance for the Alliance. And barely made it. The commander of NF Station personally extends his gratitude, pilot. 
see you'll make a fine addition to the suicide case. <laughs> the Alliance has won battle after battle. <coughs> Excuse me. The NTC Rapier, the NTC Explorer, and the NTD Normandy. These victories have stalled the rebel advance, and now with hmm. the help of the Colossus, we will push them back into the Polaris system, securing Epsilon Pegasi once and for all. <sighs> for demonstrating exceptional skill in combat, you are hereby awarded ah. the Distinguished Flying Cross. That's pretty cool. Got a couple of thingy thingy jigs here. Uh, hopefully, I'll get more. That was tough. So, th sorry I didn't talk much. I was really focused. So I apologize for that. But that was that was a crazy juggling act of trying to shoot down bombers and beam turrets all at the same time. I loved it though. But God, it was crazy. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.